Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I am going to cover that how we can pass generated JWT token for every request, every API that we are going to call from the Angular. In my last tutorial, I have covered that how we can validate the form, whatever the form we are going to create, that how we are going to like validate those form, like we are how we are going to show those inline messages over there. Now like let's say after the login over here what we have covered like created the one login application and uh, after if the login is successful then from the login response we returning the token jot token and that we are actually basically storing into the storage local storage okay and then we are navigating to the like dashboard now let's say over here we need to call some like once before landing to the dashboard we need to display some information into the dashboard so for that we need to call some APIs into the backend. Now for call that API, we need to use that particular JWT token because without authenticate, without authorization token, we are not going to call any APIs after login because it will be the break the securities into our application. So in order to authenticate APIs like after the login, whatever API you are going to call, we need to send the authorization token in the every HTTP request that we are being sent to the server so that server can like backend can verify the authentication of the request now there is a two approaches either once we are calling that particular each api over there in a header we need to set the brr token or authentication token or else we need to write some kind of the generic logic for that whenever we are calling any api for that it will be append that particular token into the header so these two approaches so actually it's very difficult to include the code for each and every api call every places so for adding the token right it will be actually very difficult it will cause that duplication code for avoid this one angular has a concept of the interceptor so that we need to create like interceptor service for handling all the HTTP request and the response in a single place. By using this interceptor, we can handle including an authentic authentic authentication token in every API call globally. Interceptor controls all the HTTP request and response. Every request and response comes and goes through this service, so we can easily append the custom headers containing the authorization token in a single place. So that actually going to cover over here that how we are going to going to like create cover this uh, create the interceptor and how we are going to set this authorization token over here and before calling how you will add. So here basically we need to create one interceptor. Interceptor that we are going to create that will be like uh, under an interceptor folder so how we are going to create that interceptor like ng let's create use the one cmd over here okay ng generate then interceptor okay and where basically we are going to uh, like create this one so we are going to create interceptor then interceptors package and then here the let's say it's a kind of uh, auth key interceptor or something okay like auth key interceptor okay so once we click the enter then it will basically create one interceptor for us and it will be over here so once it will generate it then we are going to add the related respective things like uh, adding the tokens and all over there okay so that okay now if you see that interceptors basically got created over here now instead of constant basically we need this class okay and so for that we need to class over here use this injectable injectable okay and it should be implement implements HTTP interceptor this one okay 
now we need to delete this one once we have basically okay what it is saying okay now once we have implemented this HTTP interceptor so we need to add this one implement we need to implement this interceptor actually and here we need to write all the methods like HTTP request on the HTTP handler so we don't need this observable kind of things over here for the timing now here basically we need to take the okay uh, here we need to create one like uh, constructor and here what we are going to use we need to use this uh, like uh, local storage service and here we need to use this local storage service because we need to get that key from the local storage service because we are storing over there right now using this means how we are going to get this token we are going to get this token let's say constant token equals to this storage service okay it will be we can use this dot storage service dot dot get and here we need to pass the key right that already I have like covered in my last video that how we are going to get and here we need to pass this key auth key so it will return us the like uh, it will return as a key now we will check that uh, we can print this one because once we'll do the login so for that login API also we are calling something so over there we don't have the token handy with us so we'll check this if token is valid then only we can like call this okay so here basically we need to add this means we need to use the clone of the request this request dot clone that whatever the request is coming that request dot clone and then here URL and then we need to set the header and this token we need to pass as a BRR token authorization so in a header basically we're going to use this authorization and it will be a BRR token so and then finally we need to return this like return next dot handle and here we need to pass the request so this actually this particular interceptor basically it will do that for each request it will add this authentication authorization header over here with this token okay so this is done okay next what we are going to do we are basically after the login successfully one done then we are going to call the like some services like let's say it's a dashboard service so over here so that particular service is not exist so we need to build this one or we'll send some kind of dummy response okay so observable and then it will be let's say it will be return any response then we need to like oh, from here over here return this dot http dot get any and here let's say instead of that what we're going to done over here like let's say we need to defining the base url of it is okay this will be the base url and here base url plus here we need to pass this do login okay do login we need to pass similar kind of things we need to done over here like here it will be base url and here it will be a dashboard and we don't need to pass any request because it will be a get request right so this is done means in this way basically we need to call okay we don't need this api url over here because we have done this one we have just uh, used this base url and we are passing the nested api call so now this dashboard api also we need to develop from the backend side before going to the before going to it like we need to add some another configuration to support this http interceptor in the configuration file we need to add this over here like this provider http client basically here um, like we need to here we can say it's a with interceptor from 
di okay and then comma okay so here basically we need to add the provider like this provider is the HTTP interceptor okay and then here we need to give this auth key interceptor that custom interceptor that we have created and then it will be multi as true So that if we not add this one means if we not provide this kind of this custom interceptor then it not able to understand so we need to append over here now it will basically add this interceptor now from the backend part we need to add this like over here in the controller we need to add the dashboard controller over here right so if you see the configurations over here so this do login actually before login also it will be allowed but after that if any API that will come so that will should be like authenticated and the role is the user so for role actually we have provided the dummy role over here authorities is will be the dummy role but here we need to add this dashboard API so let's add this dashboard API it will be a gate mapping okay then public uh, dashboard it will be return let's say dashboard response we need to create one DTO over here so we will create that dashboard response and then over here we know what we are going to return actually we are going to return this means we are going to create this dashboard response and then let us create this one and this particular dashboard response actually having this uh, dashboard response DTO over here we are going to create this one okay and this dashboard response basically having this one field string and res string response so we need to add this dashboard response so means once you are once the dashboard actually call then we are expecting this response over there okay we have modified this security response over here and here also we have added the role so now from the like uh, angular site we just need to call this api we have integrated this one but we are not actually calling this service from over here so here basically we need to call like once this auth key is set is done then we need to call the api how we are going to call this one we are going to call this integration service dot dashboard then subscribe so once we receive the response then we will print the response over here and navigate to the dashboard in case of any error then we are showing this error but so here we don't need to navigate to the dashboard because in case of any success response we have received then only we need to like uh, we need to uh, navigate to this dashboard URL else it will show the error okay now we need to start this application on also like this backend application also we need to start so let us run this one let us run this one java applications as java application once it will start then uh, from the portal we can also start this one but let this start this one as if you see it's started now okay now we need to start from the back end over here like from the front end so how we are going to start this one we need to run this command ng serve so once we have run this one then it will basically first build the application and then actually it will start so let it give some time over here then it will start if you see that basically got started in 4200 now we'll check from the like uh, here if you see that login got started okay now if we pass this valid username and password okay like test and one two three four five six if we click the login page then here it's showing that dashboard basically it's uh, not allowing it's showing the course error if you go to the network tab it's
showing the chords error 403 ok so let's see what's happening in the background so if you see over here I did the completely build this application again and after that we will try to like uh, call the from the portal we will check that login is working and it will able to successfully able to redirect to the dashboard page or not previously we are facing some course error so f to fixing those course error basically we need to add uh, that uh, course origin actually it will actually allow to course origin like uh, course origin connectivities over here so it should work uh, let us check from the portal like here we need to give the username and password which is valid actually what we have saved into the database now if we clicked on the login then if you see it's able to redirect to the dashboard page now and here also it's printing this means we are receiving this response that dashboard response success now if we see from the like uh, network tab over here then in the request error basically we have added this BRR token if you see this this is actually added and this token actually validated once we call it this uh, dashboard service over here it's actually validated that token is valid or not and accordingly it will getting executed so in this way basically we just need to add single interceptor over here and it will add the BRR token in every place means whenever we are going to call any APIs over there we don't need to like manually means we need to add the header everywhere if you see over here we have not passed any header from over here it will be added from over here only so in this way basically we can create our own custom interceptor and we can add into our existing angular applications over there we can pass this token and we can to call any external API so this is all about this uh, how we are going to add this interceptor into our existing application if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section this is all about this tutorial don't forget to subscribe my channel please press the bell icon for further notification thanks for your time see you in my next videos bye bye